Hello everybody and welcome back. So in this last tutorial, what we're going to be doing is talking about message flashing. Now essentially message flashing is showing some kind of information from a previous page on the next page when something happens on the GUI. So for example, say I log in, it redirects me to another page and then maybe on the top of that page it says logged in successfully. Or if I log out, maybe I'm going to get redirected to another page, but I want to show on that other page that I logged out successfully. So I'll flash a message in a certain part of that page so that the user has some idea what they actually did. So it's to give them a little bit more interaction with the page, some feedback for things that they do so that they have an idea of what's going on and that rather than having to change the whole page entirely or passing through some other variables to show on the screen, you can just flash a message and it makes it really easy to do this in Flask. So to actually flash a message, all you need to do is import flash and then you can use this function to display or kind of like post the messages that are to be flashed. And then from the different pages, we can decide where we want to flash those. And we'll do that in a second. So a basic example of when you might want to flash uh, a message in our kind of script here, and this is where we left off in the last tutorial is when we log out, because what happens when we log out is we go to this page, but then it pops our session and redirects us back to the login page. So on the login page, we probably want to show logged out successful so that they know there wasn't an error and they didn't, you know, they're not still logged in. They know that they logged out. So to do this, I'm going to say flash. And then here I'll just put the message that I want to show, which is you have been logged out like that. And then the next actual parameter for this is the category. Now this is optional, but I'm just going to put info as the category um, as that's one of the built in ones. So I believe they have warning info and error. And that's just if you want to show some icons and stuff beside it, you could use the category to do that. So that is pretty much it for flashing a message. Now we actually need to display the message from our different pages. So what I'm going to do is go to the login page and inside my block content, I'm going to write a few kind of um, templated code here to display all of the flashed messages that come up. So to do this, I'm going to say with oops, if I could spell with correctly, messages equals get underscore flashed underscore messages, make sure you add the brackets, and then I will end my width. So we'll do percent percent and width. Then what I'm going to do is an if statement inside of here, this if statement will just check if we actually have any messages to display. So if messages like that, we will end the if statement. And then if we do have any messages to display, we will loop through them and actually display them. So now what I'm going to do is go percent percent for, in this case, MSG in messages, making sure we're spelling everything correctly, then we'll end the for loop. And then what I can do is display all these messages. So to do that, we'll just add a P tag. We'll put two of these curly braces, we'll put MSG and then we'll end the p tag. Now I kind of zip through this because we've seen this before, but essentially the width is just another Python syntax you can use in here. We're going to say messages equals whatever these get flashed messages are. Check if there's any to display. If there is, we'll loop through them, we'll display them, and that will be it. Now notice that we can actually have more than one flashed message, which means if we go between a few different pages, maybe we'll show two or three flashed messages on a specific page. So I'm going to leave that like this for now and we'll do a quick test and then we'll talk about some issues with what we have right now and adding some different flashes and some different ways of handling it. So I'm going to run this script. So Python tutorial six dot pi open this up in my browser. You can see I had it running before. So let's refresh that We're on the home page. I've also modified this nav bar so that I have login and log out as direct links here. Pretty basic. You guys could probably figure out how to do that. So I'll go to login. We'll go like, you know, hello, submit. There we go, we're on the user page. Now, if we go to slash log out, you can see that we get the message, you have been logged out, and it still shows our name. Now, notice though, if I go to, like, let's say the slash, and then I go to slash log out again, it says you have been logged out once more. Now, maybe we only want to show that you have been logged out if you actually were logged in. So in that case, what we could do is we could check if we have a user in the session, and only if we do, then we will say you've been logged out. So we could say, We'll actually just copy this. So if user in session, user equals session user, and then maybe we actually display like whatever their name is that they've been logged out. So in this case, we can say flash, you have been logged out, comma, and then maybe we'll put their name. So in this case, I'll actually just use an F string like that and put user. So now this way, we actually display their name and tell them they have been logged out, but only if we actually had a user in the session. 
Okay, so that is pretty much it for that. So now I'm going to show you how we can flash a few different messages. I also want to change the page for this because we're going to be using something different. So let's start by actually creating a new HTML file, which we'll use to render the user page because right now we just have these H1 tags. And I'd like to make something that looks a little bit nicer. So I'm going to say user.html new file, we will simply extend that base template. So extends in quotes base dot HTML. And then we can add our blocks. So we'll say block, in this case, title, I don't really know what to call this one. So I'll just call it. Um, oops, what am I doing here? And block, we'll just call it like user, because why not? And then we'll add the blocks for content, we'll set up our message flashing, and we'll be good to go. So block content, and then and block, I'm actually going to make it so it displays like hello, like welcome user, whatever it is. So to do that, I'll just add a p tag. And I'll just say, welcome comma, and then we'll just pass in actually, um, like a user. So we'll say user like that. And then we can display that message flashing, which all I'm going to do to do that is copy this from the login page, and put that at the top of the user page like that. So now oops, I think I missed one of the things from here I did I missed this with so let's grab that put that back in here, we'll tab that in and now we'll display the message flashing and then this. So now what we need to do is simply render this from our other page here. So what I'm going to do is go back to where we have user, rather than just rendering the user's name, we'll actually render the template. So we'll say render template, I believe I've called this user.html. And then we'll pass user equals user like that. And that should display it for us. Now let's see where else we might want to flash a few more messages before we end here. So let's grab a flash here. Actually, I don't need to copy that. I'll just type it out. So for example, when they log in, we probably want to tell them that they logged in. So to do that, we can flash a message in here. So we'll say flash, and then log in successful like that. So we'll flash that one there. We'll also flash that one. Um, hmm. You know what, what I'm going to do here is what this is doing, right, is saying if you go to the login page, but you're already logged in, it just brings you to um, the user page, it just redirects you there. So what I'll do is say if they go to the login page, and they get redirected, already logged in. So that way, when they go back to the user page, and they know that no, nothing went wrong, they actually just are already logged in. So that's why they got redirected there. Okay, so I think that is pretty much good for now. When I go to this user page, I'm actually going to flash the message too that says, you are not logged in. Because that means that if they try to go to the user page, and they're not logged in, they shouldn't be able to see anything. So we'll redirect them back to the login page. So anyways, this might not be perfect, but this will do for now. So let's test it out see if I made any errors, which I likely did. So let's go um, back to the home page. So we'll just go home like that. You have been logged out. Okay, I think that was just the last message to show. So let's go to slash login. There we go. Let's log in as Tim, submit login successful. Welcome, Tim. Okay, looks like that's working right now. Let's go back to the home page, no messages to display. Let's go log in already logged in. Welcome, Tim. And then last we will check out log out. And when we did that, it didn't flash the message back on this page. Let me check if this is actually correct here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just honestly, rather than checking this session here, let's just always flash that you've been logged out. Because regardless of what they do, they probably should be told that they were logged out. So let's just do this now again, uh, log in, you know, H submit. Oh, what's going on here? Let's see here. Okay, successful login. Now if we go to back to slash log out, you've been logged out function user at blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's interesting why that showed that um, user Oh, oops, <laughs> this is displaying a function, I need to get rid of this f string, my apologies, guys. Okay, but that is essentially how we flash the messages. Don't worry about that last error, it's just because I was passing the user function. So it displayed this weird string of text. But that is message flashing. So with that, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. In the next video, I think we're going to get into some database stuff and start getting a bit more complicated and talk about how to set up an actual scalable web server. So anyways, that has been it. And I will see you guys in the next flask tutorial.